Here are all the eggs I've collected today. So many pretty colors. Oh no! That was an egg fail. I'm getting more chicks. Uh oh. Oh no. Hey farm fam! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. Welcome to today's vlog. We're doing like a small little weekend in my life type of thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this vlog. We're about to feed and it's kind of like a hot day today. So I'm, you know, a little not happy that I'm having to work outside this weekend because it's hot, but it's breezy. So if you guys are excited for today's vlog, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if I chance my post notification shout out, are you guys, let's go into this vlog. Good morning. Are you yawning? Did we just miss your yawn? Huh, Louie? Do we just miss your yawn? Juni! Good morning. Good morning, June. Oh, are you saying good morning to the farm fam? And Blaze, you're so far away from everybody. Good morning, Blaze. Look how cute you are. This is what I meant by when we put these right here. So I, that was so cute. I love it. Hi, my little goats. Hi, my goats. The goats are actually going to stay in for today for a couple hours because we have to work in the back pasture for a bit and we can't have the goats in our way or possibly getting hurt. So they will stay in. You're going to stay in today. You're going to be not happy about it, but that's what's going to happen today, you little goats. Oh, I should go get the other two boys. Let me get them. See where they are. I almost forgot about them. How could I forget about them? Trigger! Cash, come on! Let's go! So pretty. Good morning. Good morning. Go into the barn. Why do you always have to stop? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see if they go into the respective stalls. Oh, Juni! Oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? She wanted to take a chunk out of Trigger. Well, that didn't quite work. Come on, Trigger, you know where to go. Come on. Go! Good boy. <laughs> I thought he said good boy. Go, you hammy. No, Blaze. Blaze is trying to get the sweet feed. We have our cow feed and our pig feed. We're about to walk over there, but Blaze is trying to get a little bit of sweet feed. It's not allowed. And then I got my little chick grower starter feed. <laughs> He's trying so hard. And we're gonna go feed the chicks when we're over there. Look at Miss Penelope. She's like, do you guys have something for me? I need to show you guys what Penelope is doing. This. She's never done her entire life. So Penelope is like four years old. She's fired. And I wanna show you guys something that she just started doing in the last three weeks or so. And she's doing what a pig does. But crazy enough, she's never done this her whole entire life of us having her. And she's rooting up our backyard. Like, this is crazy. She's literally rooting up everywhere. So we've never had her do this ever, which, I mean, I was surprised that she never did this because she's a pig after all. But as you guys saw over there and then there. So Mike's theory is that, what's your theory about her finding like one, one worm or something? Well, she's really smart and like she figured out how to open our sliders. So yes. like, she figured out how to open it once and now she knows how to open it yes. every time. So I think that she was just digging around and she found something good to eat. <laughs> and now she thinks that there's just something good to eat everywhere. Yeah. So she just keeps looking. Cause she just keeps doing it. So that's our, that's what we're Maybe it's convinced on. Too. Oh, a little snack. Sometimes I give her snacks. <laughs> little pig snack. Good morning, cows. Good morning. As you guys know in my last vlog, all the pigs are permanently together now since we blocked them off. They all eat together now and they're all happy to be together. No one's fighting besides the normal antics. But they seem very happy together. Come on, Jojo. Perfect. So we're making, well, trying to make, Moose and Jolene go into the stall for today. Come on, Joe. It's been a while, huh? Because the stall's been blocked off. Watch out, Albie. But we want them to hang out in the stall where we have water and their food is in there. Go on, girl. Good girl. She's got a fuzzy winter coat. Oh my goodness. She's fuzzy. We've got two buckets in here for them to eat. They won't be in here for terribly too long, but we need to move some stuff around into the back pasture and we just need them out of our way for a bit so they'll eat and stuff in here. Albert is not an escape artist. He doesn't care, so he can stay. He won't bug us, so he's eating <laughs> out of this. 
Now we gotta go let our chickens out and check on our chicks and feed them some starter. We'll let them all plop out here, I guess. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello everyone. Running as fast as they can. Fresh new water for the chicks. So here's how the chicks are looking. They're getting so big so quick. I've been getting a lot of mixed answers from you guys about which ones are gonna be um, pullets and which ones are gonna be roosters. So I don't know you guys, but I definitely think that this one right here is gonna be a rooster. This one's the only one that I can really like say I think is gonna be a rooster in my, I guess, lack of expertise. But with the signs that I know, I'm pretty sure that this one's a rooster. And then I think that okay if i'm gonna guess right now i think that three of them are gonna be roosters and one's gonna be a pullet and i think that one back there is gonna be the pullet and then i think these three are the roosters hi Pinelli. why are you tearing up my yard piggy piggy you're a dirty pig look at how dirty she is rolling in the mud digging it up <laughs> Time to let the horses out. You guys should probably know the routine. Bye now. <laughs> You're up first, buddy. Louie! I'm a little stuck. Good boy. And you. Go on, girl. Go on. Go. Go, ma'am. And she's out. Hi, Dinky. What's up, girly? Good morning. Blaze, Louie, and June. Everyone's eating their hay. And actually, all the animals are fed now. So time for us to start working on what we have to work on today what we have to work on is we are doing a property cleanup because like I told you guys when in my last video we were talking about refencing things and trying to find different places for the goats to go on the property and what we are doing next weekend is we are free fencing like the whole property basically besides like the white fencing so we're keeping that but we have to first do a property cleanup so we are cleaning up like trees and stuff and you guys will see because we actually had like a lot of our trees cut down so you'll see. In the cow pasture, this is kind of what we're working with right now. The cow pasture is such a big mess because we got all these trees taken down and the reason that they got taken down is because they were dying and we are approaching hurricane season here soon and we definitely did not want them to fall without like us wanting them to fall if that makes sense. We didn't want them to hit any of the animals so we opted to get rid of them before rainy season came and as you can see how dead they were so they made such a huge mess on the actual like ground because of how dead they were they just were so brittle and once they hit the ground it basically just broke into pieces so it's all over the pasture so that's our first course of business today is remove all of these trees and do as best as we can with the ground because the ground looks just bad here we are now and all of the big stuff is gone which it looks so much better now we just have all this like debris from all of the trees like breaking like I told you guys so this is what we're working with we will rake it up but now we're gonna move on to more cleaning and you guys are gonna be disappointed in us because this debris has been there for a while and we've totally neglected moving it and we've told ourselves every weekend move it move it move it we need to move it and it's crazy because this debris has been there for so long so we're gonna go over there and you'll see how long it's been over there since we cleared out the back of the pig pen. That's how long it's been over there. So, yeah. And we've just like kind of made it bigger and bigger with stuff around this pasture. And it's time that it finally gets moved. So this is what I mean. So he has like a lot of it grabbed up right now, but this is like an old hose. It's just like stuck. So this was literally all of the stuff that we moved out from behind this pen to make the pig pen when we first got Mr. Pig and made this pen bigger for just Stewie and Mr. Pig. So finally, this is like the old stuff from when we redid this barn um, that's all getting taken up and like random wooden stuff that was back here. All this stuff is like 
things that we found throughout this pasture. But what's up, biggies? What's up? We're cleaning up over here, aren't we? Dinky has made her way over into this pasture because the gate's open and she is very skeptical of what's going on in the bull barn. <laughs> what's going on, Dinks? She's like, oh, a new area. I've never seen this part of the, of the, I've never seen this part of the pasture. Dinky has literally never been over here before. Finally, it's clean. It's all in that um, little pond. So we're going to take that to the trash momentarily. He's moving some stuff right now. But we were just looking because we are obviously reevaluating everything right now with our fencing. So we just need to move this with some metal panels. But right here in this area, we were thinking of moving the chicken coop. So to make sure my donkey doesn't get out, she's all the way up there. What are you doing, Dinky? Venturing around. But anyways, the coop is right here, and we are gonna be refencing all behind there and stuff. So we've just been moving everything around, thinking of the best plan of action because we've been wanting to move the chicken coop. So we're thinking that we are going to move it right here, back there, because it'll be nice that they're still close by. It has nice shade, and I think it'll just look better there. And then I'll be able to see through more back through this pasture. Bye bye pond mess. Finally, at last, it's gone. Yay! And there's literally a dog toy over here. Just some stuff that fell. Okay. So with that being said, you guys, we're about to do something exciting. Because I was telling you, we'll move this out of the past in a minute. Now we were thinking about moving the chicken coop and we are gonna do that now. We're going to move the chicken coop over here and hopefully we like it. So we shall see. I'm very excited. We've been trying to think of places where to move this chicken coop for so long. And I think this will be good. I just, I don't know. I don't really love where it's at. I want to paint it and everything to match the house. We're going to paint the barn too, but I, who knows when we're going to. We are removing everybody from the chicken coop because we are moving it with the skid steer, so just in case, God forbid, it falls over. We don't want anyone tumbling with it. Right, chickies? Goodbye, have some fresh sunlight. There we go. And then we just have to move the water out. This is awfully exciting, but very nerve wracking, you guys. This could be a catastrophe. <laughs> and, um, we can end up with no chicken coop after this, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Because that would put a wrench in our plans for today, wouldn't it? Huh? If <laughs> it fell over and broke. <laughs> that would suck. Here it goes. Hopefully this works. It really needs to move like this and not the other way, like coming in from this side. Because where we have to put it, it needs to go from this side. So hopefully this works. Cross your fingers, people, right now. That it works. <laughs> okay, we're dragging. I really wonder what's gonna be underneath here. There we go. Yay! There's a tennis ball underneath there. The dog tennis ball. All right, slow and steady. Wow, it moved. Yay! This is exciting. Uh-oh. I don't know. The ground's a little uneven. You guys having a party in here, huh? With <laughs> your chickens. All right. Now, it needs to fit perfectly. You guys always ask me about this boot, like why there's a boot there. You guys, it came with the shed. It's not a real boot. It's same thing like this little hat right here. They're like bird feeders or whatever. We ought to just take them off, but I never like thought to because we just kind of thought it was funny. But yeah. It is very, very close. It's like about to touch. All right, you guys, so that was kind of brutal, but it's back here. We had to, basically the gutter got ripped off, which is whatever, we don't really care. And then we had to pull off the screen in here, but it's okay because we have like wire in there that we'll have to restable back up. But we left these windows open on accident when we closed the door and we could no longer get into the door. So we just had to rip off the actual screen, but there is wire in there that I just have to, like I said, staple back up. <laughs> it just looks like a mess right now. It's been kind of, a doozy trying to get it into here really it was 
very, very hard. So now, next thing is we just have to move it because I really want it to be behind like these trees because I feel like it would look really cute and there's really nice shade. So we just need to move it just a little bit more, move it over and get it into its final position. We probably will never ever be able to move it out of here. So <laughs> hopefully we like it. So this is what it looks like. It looks really cool. We are literally just talking about all the plans of what we're gonna do to make it a lot cooler, like putting like concrete underneath where their water trough is and then just doing some fun stuff over here. But with that being said, we've worked so much in this pasture that we worked up an appetite. So we're gonna go get some lunch and then we're gonna try to finish in this pasture. We still have like a lot of cleaning up to do, especially we are like making more messes when we're cleaning. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys when you're cleaning up a mess and then you make a bigger mess trying to clean it up because now we've made like a mess where the old chicken coop was. So we need to clean that up. But I think we'll be able to get done with this pasture. Do you think so, Mike? Yeah. Today? Yeah. We're at Publix, guys. Do you have a Publix in your area? I know this is only for like some states in the south. We're sitting in the car. <laughs> nice about to eat this sub. <laughs> and we got subs and we're just sitting in the car in the parking lot because we need to get back to working at the house. And guys, this is like super, super realistic like weekend in our life because this is exactly what we do. We come to Publix, we go to the little like sub deli counter and then we sit in the car, watch a YouTube video, eat our lunch and then go home and pick right where we left off because we don't live very far from Publix. We live maybe like 10 minutes tops. But I think we might need to stop at Tractor Supply first before we go home and then we'll go home. Made it to Tractor Supply and there's more chicks. So I'm getting more chicks. And then I want these two. All right. <laughs> and then I think I want just two of these. I got my chicks, so I got six. And then we had to get this. So this is what we primarily came here for, and there was chicks, so we got that. And then we always go and look in the clearance aisles to see if there's anything that we need, but there's really nothing. I do need to get chick feed though, so I'm gonna go grab a bag of chick feed. There it is. You guys, we are kind of retiring our um, muff feeding cart thing you guys know that we've used for years ever since our last house and we just bought this um, Just feels a little different than the gorilla cart thing that we had so it's more like a Wheelbarrow and it's big. Are you excited for this? Mike is yeah. very excited. We've been talking about getting like a new um, What is that thing called that we've always called it like the little cart that we have the gorilla cart thing muck cart. the muck cart Yeah, we've been talking about getting a new one for so long and we couldn't figure out which one we wanted So we went this because let me show you. Hey, you can get in it. All right. I might later because I've gotten the mud cart so many times, but it has four wheels because I wanted it still to have four wheels so it's easy. So I can just do this because I hate the concept of an actual wheelbarrow like this. It's too heavy, but we like that it's more tippable so that we can get it into our um, poop spreader. So I'm excited about this and it's really big. And now we have to manage to put it in my vehicle. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> this vehicle is literally so packed. Look at this. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult not having a truck anymore, but... Mike just said it, who needs a truck? We were able to fit it in, all my favorite towels, it's essential with a puppy, and my new mutt car, so very exciting. Now, it's back to the house. Guys, it's almost like six o'clock, so it's been a long day. It goes by really quickly, so a little bit of a bummer, but that's all right. We have to go back and we need to finish. We are back here working, and I was just telling Mike that I was gonna hang string lights from the tree you saw around here. He thinks I'm kidding, but I'm considering putting the string lights, yes, and making it look really cute because our last house, we had a really cute chicken coop. Anyways, little chickies. Okay, let's see what we got. Every day, a new blue egg keeps getting laid on the ground. So I ended up getting six. Little chickies, so cute. I really hope these turn out to be lavender Orpingtons, but I'm not sure. They're very cute though. I brought new friends! We're getting to a bigger little cage in no time. All right, that's three of them. I like it. Four, 
And then my last two, we lost some of their shavings in the move over here, like moving their little coop over here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize how big our birds have gotten already. We're gonna need to move their little cage later tonight. Just for now, this is what we're doing because I need to get them under the heat ASAP. So this is where they'll be for right now. But we got new chicks, so that's very exciting. Filled up the chicken feeder. Oh, that is heavy. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring it to the coop. Mike is still cleaning up the pasture. Will I do this? Hopefully. It's starting to look a lot better. The chickens are realizing that this is their home, so that's good. They're all coming over this way. It didn't really confuse them at all, I feel like, that their coop is gone. I think they just looked for the big building. And <laughs> so this is where I live. All right. Here we go. What do you want? What do you want? You are a chunky donkey. What's wrong? What'd you do? What'd you do, Dinks? What'd you do? Is it almost dinner time, Dinky? Is that why you're yelling? What do you think, Al? Do you like your new friend? Guys, I cannot wait until now we can finally clear this up since the coop's gone and next week we are fencing. So next week, you guys, one more week of it looking like this. <laughs> And we will be having a really nice fence line finally right there. It's literally been mostly like this the whole time that we've lived here, but actually not because all of those trees, those were actually like pepper bush trees. So we cut them all off, the rest of it died. And this is what we were kind of left with as like a makeshift fence. We kind of propped up some wire on there and just did what we could obviously <laughs> because we knew we were gonna redo the fence. And now the time has finally come. We finally are getting to it. Now I'm gonna work on this. So, this has been up here just hanging out and then Moose broke off the actual little piece to turn the hose on and off. So we use this little wrench and it's time that the wrench gets used for what it's supposed to be used for and not as a hose thing. First things first, I need to cut this. Okay, hopefully no water comes bursting out, but we'll see. Ah! That's exactly what I said I hope didn't happen. And now I'm soaked. <laughs> I literally said I hope this doesn't happen. What is happening? <laughs> a shower for you guys. There we go. Oh no. I guess it was a little hot anyways. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Let's try this again. <laughs> Now we will glue it, and this is your tutorial of plumbing. <laughs> Me not knowing at all what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyways. That looks good, right? My camera died and you guys missed the best part of us actually putting the contraption on. So there it is. <laughs> and then we just put this little like bungee cord on there just cause I said that truck supply didn't have those clamps. So put that on there and now it's time to put the fun little doodad on it. The There's the doodad. And voila. Moose will break this in no time. Hey, don't say that. Right, Moose? You know you won't. Probably will, but don't say that. There we go. Love it. So we'll connect one for the pigs, like I said, and then this one will go right into here. We'll move it over, and it will be good. It's nap time for the piggies. Three little pigs are taking a nap, and Mr. Pig. He's in there, he's knocked out, and he's Piglu. Stewie is taking advantage of the quiet time of everyone napping. Mr. Pig looks so peaceful. I woke these guys up. Oh no. Hi, piggies. I feel like this whole video has been about me being in that with this chicken coop. But one of the last things I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna collect eggs. We have a lot that need to be collected. This is just one of the boxes. So, this is what I'll be doing. Collecting eggs and putting them in here. Hopefully there's enough room. I skipped collecting eggs for like three or four days. So yeah, none of them broke on the way over. So that's a good sign. We weren't being crazy <laughs> moving it. 
There we go. Oh no, ew, that one just got on me. Okay, that one was broken, so that one will go to the pig, so I'm gonna leave it in there for now. Now Stewie's happy. Want some eggs? Hey, Lilas. Eggs. <laughs> and here are all the eggs I've collected today. So many pretty colors. Oh no! That was an egg fail. She died. So sad. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. This is how many eggs I've collected today. As well, it's getting pretty dark and the sun is going away. Miss Jinky is hungry. She's like, where's my food, mom? And we need to go feed. We've had a really long day. <laughs> Tinky! And Dinky got to hang out with us in this pasture, so that was fun. We love hanging out with Dinky. Don't we, Dinky? Oh, she did not like that. Come on, Dinks. Come on, Dinky. Come on, girl. But um, I think Mike's working on just getting a couple more chickens up into the coop, and we need to go feed the horses and the rest of the animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here, and I hope you liked coming along for a weekend day in my life working around the property. You guys will be seeing a couple more of these vlogs like this because I think at the end of this week, I wanna paint the chicken coop, so you guys are gonna see that, and then the fencing and the rest of this property cleanup that's happening. So if you guys like these type of videos, let me know in the comments down below so that I know if you guys want me to record this or not. I don't wanna bore you guys, of course, but if you did like today's video, let me know and give me a big thumbs up right now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if you chance my post notification shout out, today's shout out goes to are you guys? I love you and I'll see you in the next one.